Kamala Harris and her desperate, scummy team of people selectively edited someone's words, put it out there on social media to make it sound as if they were promoting Kamala and predicting her victory, and it was completely manipulated. I even talked about it on the show uh, on Friday. I didn't know that it was man manipulated. You, you would think in uh, 2024 with all the tech that they wouldn't pull stunts like this, but they do. And I'm talking about Joe Rogan and Kamala Harris. Now, on Thursday, and then, then I talked about this on Friday's show, Joe Rogan, it, this is what was reported, had predicted that Kamala Harris was going to win. And I thought, well, that's so crazy. He must be doing this as a publicity stunt since Tucker Carlson is now the number one podcast. No, Kamala Harris's team edited what Joe Rogan said. I'm, he was talking about Tulsi Gabbard. They took up, I'm going to play you the whole thing, but they took um, a portion of him talking about Kamala, a portion of him talking about Tulsi Gabbard, did some editing, combined it, and made it sound as if he was talking about Kamala. This is a big mistake on her part because Joe Rogan's listenership is so huge that if you went to Howard Stern when, when he was on, you know, the radio, if you went to the period in time where Howard Stern had his highest ratings and you took those numbers, and then you went to the late, great Rush Limbaugh and found his highest ratings, and you put the number of listeners they had at their peaks in a week, and you put that together, that's what Joe Rogan has every week. And this is only one of many scandals of Kamala Harris's. Some of them are larger and smaller than this. Now, I pulled this up. This is from The Hill. This is from last week. The Hill uh, had a story reporting, and they play the audio, so I'm going to play it for you. Joe Rogan predicting a Kamala, Har Kamala Harris victory. And, the, you know, the point of this was to, oh, my goodness, Joe Rogan said, and get a dialogue going, get a, a false narrative going. Another Goebbels, Lenny Riefenstahl production. So here's The Hill reporting on this at the end of last week. Listen. Fathom that people actually like Vice President Kamala Harris. Let's watch. Everybody forever was like, Kamala Harris is the worst vice president. She's the least popular mm -hmm. vice president of all time. And then in a moment, a moment in time, all of a sudden she's our solution. She's our hero. Everybody's with her. All these social media posts about her. Try Googling a negative story on her. You won't find one. So, ta-da! Okay, you, 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 you've got... Rogan also made this prediction on the 2024 presidential election with his guest cultural commentator, Michael Malice. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. She absolutely can win. I do not think she's going to win because the more she talks, like in 2020, she how bad do you have to be that you can't even make Iowa? She couldn't even compete oh. with the mayor of South Bend. I, <laughs> I feel like we are in this very bizarre time where people are giving in to the in a way that I, I never suspected people would before. And you this saw is this one, they just want no Trump, no matter what, and they're willing to gaslight themselves. To think that, and by the way, I think Hillary could win. If Hillary jumped back in. I've been okay, so that was the edited clip. Kamala's gonna win, that's Joe Rogan. That's what was widely reported Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And then yesterday, the truth came out. He was talking about Tulsi Gabbard, and uh, here's the unedited clip, and you hear him referencing things that uh, are obviously Tulsi Gabbard. Listen. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice she, in a medical unit. So she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump, no matter what. And Tulsi Gabbard is sharing this, and she has many millions of followers. This is going viral on social media. And the Kamala Harris team was exposed as just outright lying. 